guys, what's up? It's Natasha here, and in today's video, I'm doing an amazing brownie recipe. So I've done sweet potato brownies, black bean brownies, gluten-free brownies, all that kind of stuff. But today, I'm actually going to film it, and I'm going to look for a recipe on Pinterest, as I usually do. And I think I'm going to go with black beans, because I have a lot of sweet potatoes, and I have a lot of black beans. So, I think in the past, my favorite was black bean. So we're going to give that a shot today, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Pretty sure it's not going to be vegan. We're going to see. There might be an egg in there. We will see what the recipe holds for us. But yeah, let's get started. Here we have a lot of mason jars filled with different ingredients that are not labeled, so I'm going to get confused. But um, if you guys are making this recipe, or making any type of baking recipes or anything, go to Bulk Barn, fill up your jars. So much more eco-friendly. You don't want to use plastic. And it is way easier. You can store it in your cupboard just like this and then wash it. So today we have um, cocoa powder, coconut sugar. We got some organic chocolate here that we're probably going to put in the brownies. And then we also have coconut flour and chickpea flour, but pretty sure not using these. I just got these just in case and some dates. But we will see what the recipe needs. So I got my black beans. These are organic. Um black beans and they are non no they're not non-gmo bpa free in this can that's great so i got two of these um i found a recipe on pinterest and this one has no flour no gluten-free flour three large eggs baking powder cocoa salt chocolate sugar vanilla oil and instant coffee which i've never done that in brownies before Okay, we're gonna try this one. That one looks pretty good. Hopefully my brownies look like this. That's pretty nice. We're gonna need 15, 16 ounces of um, black beans. I have two cans, they're both 13 ounces. 350, 390 milliliters. So they're both 13 ounces or whatever. I'm just gonna like add a little bit from the other one to make it 16. And then we're going to puree it in our food processor from Ninja. So we're gonna be doing that. That's gonna be the first step. Also, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So let's get started. So the oven is now preheating and we're gonna be opening up our black beans here. Um, I'm gonna be trying to use two cans. Okay. Gotta get a strainer. Just strain the beans. Okay, so the beans are strained, and now we're just gonna add two cups of the beans into the food processor, and I will get that sorted. Okay, so we're just gonna blend up the beans until they get pretty ground up. Um, so I found out it's two cups is 15 to 16 ounces, but we still have extra beans, but I can just use that in a salad. Okay, so we blended up all the beans, and it looks like this. There's a little bit of pieces that are left, but I'm pretty sure that is fine. Okay, so this is what it all looks like. All mashed up beans, and we're gonna add the other ingredients. We're gonna blend this together. We're gonna be adding some vanilla and oil as well. Okay, so we're gonna be adding a teaspoon of vanilla into this. I love vanilla, so this is great. I just try not to add, oh. That was way too much. As I say, I try not to add too much. I add too much. Three tablespoons of flourless, I mean, not flourless oil, flavorless oil, which I'm pretty sure every oil has a flavor, I guess. Everything, like, just like water has a flavor. Kind of, not really. Um, so this is safflower oil. I thought this would be easier than coconut oil. Coconut oil has a flavor because it tastes like coconuts. So we're adding three tablespoons of this. Um... One, two, three, 
The reason I added more, it looked like I added more than three is because this is half a tablespoon. So I was kind of just improvising there. Because if y'all watch my other videos, you know my tablespoon measurement is in my protein powder. I've been craving these brownies for literally weeks now. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna make them, might as well make them for a video too. And here I am. So I'm really excited. Okay, so we're gonna be adding a fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa, which I got from the bulk barn. And then some sugar, two thirds sugar, half a tablespoon of baking powder, some salt, instant coffee, and chocolate chips. Okay, so for the sugar, we're adding two thirds of coconut sugar. You can add cane sugar, maple syrup, or you could do normal sugar, but I would prefer coconut sugar or maple syrup just because they are more of the healthier alternative. And coconut sugar actually has some health benefits. Oops. And it is very clumpy if you get it from Bulk Barn. And it is organic as well. So look at this, like it's like a mountain, it looks like Mars. That's a lot of sugar. We're just gonna try to, yeah, half a teaspoon of baking powder, some salt, and then we're adding half a teaspoon of finely ground instant coffee. Oh, Oops. I got kind of like a lot of salt. So we have a Balzac's coffee. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this coffee, coffee before but we're gonna be adding some of this. It's my favorite coffee. It smells crazy. Um, so half a teaspoon. Ooh. I feel weird adding coffee and brownies. So we're gonna be adding some chocolate chips. You can add normal chocolate chips, but I'm adding just these thick little like melting ones. I use for melting chocolate, but I really like this chocolate. So we're gonna add some of this in there. Super chocolatey. We're gonna be oiling up this glass pan, um, glass tray. We're not gonna be using a liner, you can if you want, but we're gonna try not to. So we're gonna be just oiling that up. It's a lot of oil. Kinda scared that this won't be enough batter for the pan. And the tray that I'm using, but we will see. How delicious! I think that will be okay, and then hopefully it rises. I'm gonna add some salt on top because I love it when um, brownies have like sea salt on top of it. We're gonna put this in. <laughs> Let's go. So it just came out of the oven, looking beautiful, looking cracky. We got some salt on the top too, it didn't dissolve into it, so I like it when you could see it on the top. Um, the chocolate chips look really good and melted in the, in the crescents, or whatever those are called, in the cracks. So we're gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna try it. But it raised up pretty well. Yay, so excited. I haven't made brownies in so long and I'm really hyped up for this moment. Okay, so for these brownies, they're very dark. If you guys like them really dark, you could add as much cocoa powder as I did. I kind of like put a little bit more than I needed to, like just a little tad. But they look really good, and I'm so excited to try them. Falling apart, but it's okay. Mmm. So good. That is so moist and fudgy. What the heck did I just eat? Honestly. Doesn't taste real. How's it from a black bean? Thank you guys so much for watching today's baking video. Please subscribe to my channel. I do other baking videos and also what I eat in a day videos and tons of vlogs and stuff like that. So hope you guys like my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one.